All right, let's go over these uh, practice problems. Uh, some independent practice, you've worked on number one. I'll go over it, see if we have the same thing. Uh, if we don't, you know, raise your hand and ask me for some help. Um, so it says, determine whether two expressions are equivalent. If so, tell what property is applied. Okay, so we have two expressions here. This is one, and this is another. Are they equivalent? Are they equal? That's what we need to find out. Okay, 8 plus 27, that is 35, plus 52, and when I add those together, I get 87. Okay, now I have 8 plus, but I have to do my parentheses first. So 27 plus 52 is 79, bring down my 8, 8 plus 79 is 87. So they are equal, so we're going to put a big yes there. And what is the property? It is the associative property. Okay, and that property tells us that they're in the same order. 8 plus 27 plus 52. 8 plus 27 plus 52. They're just grouped differently. We do this first over here. We do this first over here. But because it's addition and it's the associative property... They're equal. Okay, I'm going to erase this a little bit, give us a little room so we can see number two. We'll do two in blue. Okay, go ahead and try number two, and after you've tried it, uh, play the video again and see how you did. So we have uh, multiplication, three times six times nine, three times six times nine. So it's the same order, they're grouped differently. We do that first over here and this first over here. So I think it's associative property, but we want to make sure they're equivalent. So 3 times 6 is 18 times 9, and 18 times 9 equals 162. Over here we have 6 times 9 is 54, and bring my 3 down. So 54 times 3 also equals 162. They are equal. Okay, so yes, and it's because of the same associative principle, property, I mean. Um, okay, go ahead and pause the video and uh, try number three. Number three says that we have 72 minus 63 minus 8, 72 minus 63 minus 8. So we have two expressions. They're in the same order, they're the same numbers, but they're subtraction this order this time. So uh, I don't think associative property works with subtraction, so I'm going to say no, but now I have to tell you why, okay? So by telling you the why, I need to solve it. So if I take 63 minus 8, I get 55, bring down my 72, and 72 minus 55 equals 17. Now on this side, I'm doing this first. And it's 72 minus 63. That's going to get me 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So it does not work because 17 is not equal to 1. Okay, they are not equivalent. Okay, pause the video, do number 4, and then we'll come back. Number 4 has two expressions. There's one, there's another. Same numbers, same order, grouped differently. You think it might be the associative property, but they're division. So I'm going to say no, but I'm going to still do it. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 36, bring that down. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. So 9 on one side. 36 divided by 3, or divided by 12 equals 3. And then bring down my divided 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 does not equal 1. So, with those four problems, we have, um, we have this one's the addition, this one's the multiplication, this one is subtraction, and this one is division. So, what we can conclude is that the associative property only works with addition and multiplication not with subtraction and division. Okay? Go ahead and pause, and we'll come back and do number five. 
Okay, now that you've done number five, we have uh, two expressions, 0 plus 32, and over here we have 0. Are they equivalent? Um, now, they are not, because 32 plus 0 is 32, and you have just 0 here. So no, 32 does not equal 0. Okay? Um, what it does equal is 32. So we have an identity property that's not used here. Um, if this side equal 32, then it would be the identity property. But because it's 0, it does not work. Okay, let's uh, scoot on down here. We want to look at 6. Find the perimeter of the triangle. Okay. Um, now, here's how we would find the perimeter. If I am going to use the associative principle, I'm going to put two numbers that I think would be easiest to put together first. 4.5 plus 5, oopsie, plus 5.5. Now, the reason why I put those two together is because they both have a half. And I know that a half and a half is 1. So the halves equal 1. 4 plus 5 is 9 plus the 1. So that equals 10. And then I'm going to add the 6. So 10 plus 6 equals 16. 16 inches. Okay? Hopefully you were able to see that. You could add it in any order because of the associative principle of addition. You're going to get the same thing if you add 6 to 5.5 and, and then to 4.5. But you do the associative principle and property because it helps you. It makes it easier to group the right numbers together. Okay, let's do number 7. Each day, well, hopefully you've had a chance to do number 7, and uh, now you're just watching me do it after you've already done it. Each day, about 75,000 people visit Paris. Use the commutative property to write two equivalent expressions that could be used to find the number of people that visit over a five-period day. Okay, so if it's 75,000 a day, now we want a five-period day. So I'm going to multiply that. So it's going to be 75,000 times five. So that'll give me a five, uh, how many people visit in five days. But it says write two equivalent expressions um, and use the commutative property. Commutative, I know, would be five times 75,000. Okay? Commutative property tells me that it doesn't matter which one comes first. If it's multiplying or addition, it's going to equal the same thing. Okay. All right, go ahead and uh, you can try 8. Uh, you can even do 8, 9, 10, 11, um, and then I'll check it. You can check it through this video. Um, oops. Or you could do one at a time and get it checked. Either way. Okay. Let's see what it says here. Use one or more properties to rewrite each expression as an expression that does not use parentheses. Okay. So on this one, I see that I have a, a 1 and a 4. Those are like terms. So because this addition is all addition, it doesn't matter what I do first or when. Um, so I'm going to say y plus 5. And that's an equivalent expression without parentheses. Okay? Number 9. Multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. It's all multiplying. 6 times r times 7. Doesn't matter what order we do it in. So I'm going to do the like terms. 7 times 6 is 42. And then I'm going to times it by r. So 42r, there's no parentheses, but it's equivalent to this. All right. Um, number 10 it says, find the value of x that makes that a true statement. So 24 plus 
x, which is what I want to find out, is going to equal 24. So if I, I'm just going to start with 0. If I put 0 there, 24 plus 0 equals 24. And that is true. So x equals 0. And that is the identity property. Anything plus 0 is going to be the uh, number you start with. Okay. Now let's look at number 11. It says 17 plus x equals 3 plus x. So it's plus and plus. We have 17 over here, 17 over here, and we have this x here. Not sure what that is, but we have a 3 here. Looks like the commutative property, 17 plus x equals 3 plus 17. So I know that has to be the same. So if x equals 3, it'll work. So let's, let's actually put 3 in there. 17 plus 3 equals 3 plus 17. This side is 20, this side is 20, so x equals 3. All right, hopefully you understood what happened there. Um, if you have any questions about this whole page, um, stop at any time and ask me a question. I'd love to help you figure it out. Okay, well, let's turn the page. And let's go to page 478. There's uh, one more problem we'll do. Okay, we're at number 12. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to do it, or you're watching this to help you figure out how to do it. It's called Reason Abstractly. So the graphic shows the driving distance between certain cities in Florida. Okay, so from Miami to Jackson... Ville is 338, from Jacksonville to Tampa is 188. Write a number sentence that compares the mileage from Miami to Jackson to Tampa and the mileage to Tampa to Jackson to Miami. Okay, so let me start from Miami to Jackson. 388, that's Miami to Jackson, and then to Tampa would be plus... Uh, from Jackson to Tampa, another 188. Okay, so there's one expression. Now, I have to do the mileage from Tampa to Jackson to Miami. From Tampa to Jackson is 188. And then from Jackson to Miami is 388. Okay, so those are my two expressions. And I can tell that... It's 388 plus 188. These are going to be equal because 188 plus 388, it's the commutative property of addition. Okay. Refer to part A, which is what we did. Name the property that is this illustrated by this sentence. And I just did. Commutative property. Which states that it doesn't matter when you're adding which number comes first or second, they're going to be the same. Or if you're multiplying, it doesn't matter which one comes first or second. Commutative property. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, you are all set to go to the hot problem table and work on number 13, 14, and 15.